So this time I have this Xiaomi 4K HDR Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector and I'm very excited to share my experience with you using this projector with my 4K Fire Stick, 3D movies, 4K movies, gaming on the Xbox One X. So welcome to the channel guys, sit back, relax and let's do this. Alright, so the first thing I notice is the power cable is designed for Chinese connection. Some people will tell you that you need a converter for 120 volts, but you don't. However, you do need a cable for the port the projector uses. In the back of the unit, you'll find three HDMI 2.0 ports, one USB 3.0, one LAN port for internet, an optical port for audio, and audio and video ports. On each side, there are ventilations and adjustment knobs. On the right side, there is an additional USB port, and on the front, there are speakers. On top, you'll find the laser with two sensors on each side, which turn off the laser when someone is too close to the unit. At the bottom, there are mounting brackets, just in case if you are planning on ceiling mounting this projector. It measures 16 inches by 11 and a half inches by three and a half inches, so it's not that big for this type of projector. Another thing I notice is that everything is in Chinese. So the first thing you to do is to change the language to English. Not everything is in English, but the important menus are. There is also lots of Chinese apps that you can't remove and that don't work here in the States. So it was easier for me to use the buy fire stick and use it as my main video streaming device. So once you connect your fire stick, make sure you go back again into the menu playback settings and that you activate HDMI 2.0. Make sure that one is activated. Also, let me just show you real quick, guys. On the settings from the Fire Stick, I'm just gonna go real right here to the settings, and then I'll go to the display and sound. So display and sound, display on display. This is 4K UHD. This is how I have it. Color depth, I have it in 10 bits. Color format in automatic, and then dynamic range. I have this in adaptive, so that way it's going to be changing constantly whether it's HDR or non-HDR or maybe Dolby Vision, depends, it's up to you. So then let's go into the audio settings and on here I have the best available in surround sound. Sometimes when you connect the Fire Stick to certain TVs or certain projectors, you need to change this to stereo for or in order for you to have sound but in this case i'm using the best available this projector does support dolby digital plus so this way i'm going to get the best audio possible and then right here let's go again back into the projector the projector settings and this is what i'm going to show you what i'm using for audio so let's go into sound sound effect I'm, also, I'm using the Dolby sound system, which is like sort of like the equalizer and I have customized custom to equalizer to fullness. And this is what I'm using Beertos around 50 and voice enhance in five and equalizer in fullness. This is my preference. This is the way I feel that it sounds the best, but then it's up to you guys. I'm projecting this to a 100 inch ALR screen by Vivid Storm, which is designed for ultra short throw laser projectors and the picture quality looks beautiful. The projector comes equipped with an ALPD, which is an advanced laser fluorescent display technology. You can reach up to 1500 lumens, which is theater quality. The projector menu has a lot of options. Here, let me show you just a little bit. All right, guys, so let's get into the menus of this TV. There's this button right here on the right with three bars. If you long press it, you can access this quick menu. You can access the fast focus, keystone correction, 3D options, and more settings. So let's get into more settings. And over here, we can get into the Wi-Fi connection, general settings, general settings. There's even more for you know the preview video window on HDMI. You can choose which HDMI you want to show on the preview window, how to play, parental controls, language. This is, of course, where you change the language, device name, all kinds of uh, per personal preferences over here device and bluetooth you can connect speakers subwoofer even a microphone bluetooth remote 
By the way, the Bluetooth, the remote from this projector is Bluetooth, so you don't have to point it directly to the projector, so that's a really good idea. Account and security, you can sign in to download some uh, apps if you want to, but I don't usually do that. Display, you can change the backlight from the display to either movie or highlight. So this is like a much brighter than the movie. Movie is more like a warm color. Displaying parameters. So over here you have different settings for uh, display settings for picture. You can have the user, you can customize all of these settings. There's even advanced settings. You can change the dynamic contrast or dynamic color. You can have those turn on. I have them turn on. I feel like they work really good. The colors you can have in standard, warm, and then you can even change, for example, the red, the green, the blue. So this projector has some really good customization if you want to change all of this. You can have it standard as well, movie. These are some presettings that you have, sport. So there you go, keystone correction. Of course, you already know what the keystone correction is. Projector mode. So you can have it normal or mirror or flipped or mirror and flipped. Just in case if you want to ceiling mount this projector, you can have those settings as well. This, I don't know what this is. Let me press on this. Okay, so this is the focus. Just in case you, if you need to adjust the focus. But this projector has out of focus image scale. 16 by 9 geometric for and 3 and large so I use 16 by 9 this is like normal screen that we normally use the sound so with the sound on this projector I'm surprised how good this is uh, the speakers on in here are very loud clear and crisp it also has some really good bass so you can change the buttons sound on and off it only supports Dolby it has Dolby Surround, Virtual Surround, and has voice enhancement. So this is just in case if you want, you know, instead of having all these loud explosions, you want to be focusing more on the voice, you can do that. That is really good. Equalizer, you can customize the Qui Equalizer as well. Oh man, you have so many options even for sound. Speakers, so you can use the built-in speakers from the projector, which is really, I mean, it's really good. Honestly, guys, I'm very impressed with this. And also, you can also use HDMI or ARC sound. So just in case if you want to connect your soundbar or maybe your home theater receiver, you can use this, which I highly suggest and recommend to do this. Or you can use the optical uh, cable as well or some headphones, just in case if you want to do that. Input source, you can change the different inputs. This has three HDMIs audio and video gallery and fast cast so you can cast your phone as well if you want to do that and then there's the information from this projector there's an intelligent update right here storage network information device information so this one is projecting at 3840 2160 that's 4k this is the processor and storage all this information right here that you have access to. So now things change when you go into an HDMI port. So let's go into HDMI port. So this is my Xbox. Let me just show you real quick how to get HDMI 2.0. So the same button that I pressed earlier, the one on the right with the three bars, now you press it fast, like a quick tap, and it opens at this really small menu display. So over here in display, you can have the picture Profiles that you have saved, aspect ratio, light mode. So let's see in light mode so you can highlight. Okay, so this is pretty much the same thing as earlier before. But over here in playback settings, this is where you come and change to HDMI 2.0. You have to turn it on. So you have to turn it on manually each one. CEC awake, CEC remote control, just in case if you want to use your remote control and control your Xbox, or maybe you want to control a Blu-ray player, you know, so that's what this is for. And then the sound, sound effect, Dolby sound system, and this is same access to the sound system that we had earlier today. So now, let me just show you in the Xbox, the display settings, just in case if you want to connect your Xbox and you can use this 
to play your games or your movies. So you can choose from 4K resolution, 1080p, 720p, video modes. You have access to all this except for auto login latency and variable refresh rate. Of course, this is not in half free sync. 3D support, yes, allow 4K, HDR10. Let's go into the 4K TV details. And right over here, guys, you get everything except for Dolby Vision. This projector doesn't support Dolby Vision. And this is what I'm using for the Xbox settings. So I'm a gamer, and of course, I want to see how the projector performs with gaming. And I'll be honest, this projector has a high input lag. I don't have any tools to measure it, but I can feel the lag. It's probably around 90 to 100 milliseconds. Anything higher than 45 milliseconds is bad for fast-paced games. And I think this goes for every 4K projector. They're just not so good for gaming. On the other hand, I had no issues playing single player games. Picture looks beautiful, especially with HDR and also on non-HDR games. When it comes to sound, this projector has built-in speakers which they are sound very good. It features dual full range, dual frequency speakers with Dolby Digital and Dolby Digital Plus support. Sorry, no DTS. But even though the sound is better than a TV, I highly recommend to connect it to a home theater receiver or at least a soundbar that supports Dolby Atmos to get the better experience. The projector fans are not that loud, but I do hear them when I'm closer to the unit. Here's a sample video. So one cool thing about this projector is that it supports 3D guys. So over here, if you love 3D, you're gonna love this. So let's go into the settings real quick, 3D options, right? So right now it's 3D is off and then you're gonna wanna choose move left to right. That's the one that you want to use. Then also make sure that you use your 3D glasses. In this case, I have this ultimate 3D heaven glasses. I don't know if you guys can't see that. So uh, let me turn, put on my glasses. And oh man. It won't be any difference if I show you guys here, but trust me, the colors are punchy. Looks so, so cool. Especially this, you know, like this movie, guys. I'm telling you, I love this. Overall, this projector offers great value for its price. You can buy it for around $2,000 depending on where you buy it. The picture looks beautiful, especially if you have an ALR screen. Colors, contrasts are enhanced. Whether you're in a bright environment or during the day, these screens are the best choice for ultra short row laser projectors. My only concern is that you're buying it directly from China and you won't have the same support or warranty that we have here in case if something goes wrong. Also, you do need to get the power cable compatible with our power outlets here in the States for the projector to work. Other than that, this is great for movies, not so good for gaming. So if you don't mind those things, this is a good choice. All right, guys, so that's it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for the support. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.